What's up everybody, welcome back to another Tweak Spot video. I'm currently updating my iPhone to the latest build of 9.2.1, so I thought I'd go over a couple quick important updates. By now you've probably heard of the Error 53 problem. If not, here's basically what was happening. Every time you turn on your phone, your phone does an error check, which basically means that it's checking to see if everything connected is authentic and validated. Now most of you are aware that iPhones are notorious for the home button wearing down after only a year or so of use. If this happens to you, naturally you go and get it replaced. Well, in iOS 9.2.1, build number 13D15, if you got your home button replaced by a third party company, it would result in an error when booting up your phone because of that error checking that I just mentioned. Essentially, the phone would recognize the newly replaced home button as a foreign or unauthenticated object and would brick your phone. Many users were even saying that they lost all of their data, like their pictures and contacts, because of this. Now, Apple stated that this was for safety measures against malicious Touch IDs, but nobody cared about that and everybody was pissed. So about 9 days ago, Apple released an update for 9.2.1, specifically build 13D20. This update fixed the ridiculous move by Apple to brick devices with replaced Touch IDs and home buttons that weren't replaced at Apple. Now, the new release of 9.2.1 was supposed to fix the 1970 bug. Everything Apple Pro was able to set his date to January 1st, 1970 and restart his phone without entering the boot loop or breaking his phone. So naturally I had to give it a try after I updated. But my results weren't the same as everything Apple Pro. I ended up entering the boot loop anyway and had to open up my phone to disconnect the battery to get it to work again. So after I booted back up, I went to the settings just to make sure I was on the right build and sure enough I was on 13D20. So I'm not sure why I'm getting different results. I'm not sure why my phone is entering the boot loop after doing the 1970 bug if 9.2.1, the update, was supposed to fix it. If any of you guys know, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any speculation as to why. Maybe this varies by device, I'm not sure, but that's what happened to me. So anyway guys, that's it for this video. The update on 9.2.1 fixes the error 53 problem with home buttons. It's supposed to fix the 1970 bug, but I guess that varies. And in other news, at IanMTW on Twitter, has said that he's going to release a 9.2 and 9.2.1 jailbreak in the near future. He said that he also has a 9.3 jailbreak, but he's waiting to release that until the new iPhone 5 SE comes out. So thank you guys for watching, hit the like and subscribe button, and be looking out in the next week or so for my next video. Peace out.